Hello guys, how are you all doing today? I pray all is well with you and your families. Uh, today I am talking about family shame. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, I've talked about shame before, but this was uh, on a personal note, my own shame that I experienced as I grow up uh, because shame is not foreign to me. I have experienced shame from a childhood to my adulthood. But today I am just talking about the family shame. That's what I'm focusing on today. Uh, and if you're interested in the personal shame part, then you can go back to my videos and watch that part. Oh, guys, in all my uh, shame experiences, uh, the number one common denominator for me was the voices in my head. I, will, I can testify that shame single-handedly uh, created a new identity for me. And this identity, not only did it uh, affect me, it also affected the people around me. So it's only when I was now aware that I started uprooting all these dysfunctions that were created by shame. And is it same with everybody? I'm not sure. I don't know. I am just talking about my experience and hopefully maybe you can relate if that's is what you are going through with your family so you can learn something from my experience so the shame in my family that i'm talking about today is that which was caused by my own child now when this shame enters into your household it distributes itself equally with no favoritism to all the family members who were affected by whatever issue that's on hand uh, once it does that depending on each individual emotional uh, stability you are all going to uh, react differently so what i'm gonna share with you is all the reactions in one that you might see happening in your family as signs that uh, uh, shame has entered into your house Number one is avoidance. You start avoiding each other. It doesn't matter the one who committed the shameful act or the other members of the family. You just don't want to mingle with each other. Everyone is doing their own thing. You just avoid each other. And if you have uh, other children in the house, you want to make it secretive so that the other children won't know about what have happened but then your energy that you are distributing in that house is so intense that all they can feed from uh, you is that intense energy and it's so negative there is a blaming uh, player song going around in your house one is blaming the other saying it's because of your trauma one is blaming the other saying uh it's because uh maybe you were you're not a tither if you were a tither maybe this won't happen you just find bunch of excuses to to uh, blame each other for what has happened uh it creates tension there's so much tension going on. People are working on shell eggs. They don't know if whether to, to say something or not to say, to discuss about the issue or not to discuss. It's just so quiet. Then shame wants you to think that it's all about you uh, so that you can fail to recognize other people's emotions that they are also going through what you are going through. So you want to put everything on yourself, trying to think like, okay, what did I do wrong? What did I mess up? So you make it about you uh, and then you fail to realize that everybody here has been affected by it. Even the small little child will be affected by everything. So you isolate yourself because shame is telling you to suffer alone suffer in silence don't discuss this matter with anyone with any members of your family it's one man for himself here 
let them deal with their emotions you deal with your emotions and let it be which would just be making things more harder and harder so you begin now to devalue yourself uh, because of what's happening you're blaming yourself you're doubting yourself now so it just goes down and down into darkness more like a depression coming in for everybody uh, and then uh, because you're not dealing with whatever is happening in the household uh, there's that clogginess that's happening you start to clog up inside and then your awareness and discernment is blinded you can't see anything you can't see where you're going you don't know what to do you can't discern anything because you're just inside deep down even though you have told yourself that yeah you know what you have forgiven them but because you haven't talked about it in at a deeper level you're just numb that's what that was my case i was numb because maybe i was so scared to do anything about it so i thought if i keep quiet if i don't talk about it it's just going to go away quietly that way i don't react uh, negatively but all it is is that clog that needs to be unclogged so you can be opened up and come out of that darkness then there's that humiliation that comes with it uh now you are thinking about oh my goodness what what are people going to think now i'm a laughing stock if you are not delivered by that time whatever is happening in your family if you're not delivered from people pleasing spirit then you are going to drown in darkness but you have to come to a realization that you know what it happened uh if i am going to drown myself because i care so much about being a laughing stock to people then everything is just going to go down and under so you are going to deal with that humiliation so much i had one time one time not one time i think three different occasions uh there was two people who really texted me and told me you know what i did see your daughter in this place and i didn't even know that was your daughter just imagine <laughs> the humiliation that comes with it the shame just wants to uh what you call it wants to um strangle you to death it wants you to hide become so bad that you don't want to even be seen in public together with the one who brought this shame to you because you're just so ashamed uh that's when you know that you know a shame is really grown its roots in this thing but if you are experiencing any kind of shame in your family uh for whatever reason it may be just know that healing is possible with god i can testify to this i never knew that uh my family and myself will come out together like how we did i just thought that yeah we'll come out but everything is not gonna be the same but i just thank god that he is faithful and if he gives you his word you just have to hold on to that one promise that he would have told you and just keep it in your heart so healing is possible but only if you accept what has happened to you and your family only if you uh, resist the urge to retaliate against whoever who whoever caused that shame and healing is possible if you forgive it becomes easier to talk about the issue but i must tell you that make sure you talk about whatever happened in phases because you might be ready they might not be ready so if you talk about the matter in phases it's just going to slowly heal you guys it will heal everybody so talk about the issue in small baby steps just ease into the matter in phases 
and if you are dealing with somebody who is still very much uh, immature or naive, then you have to be willing to drastically change your communication with them. I mean, change your communication to their level of understanding. That way you can agree in a respectful manner or disagree. Because if you just hold on your old ways, especially if you are a parent and you're dealing with a child, then you're just going to clash and create more tension. But if you as a parent are willing to just go to their level of understanding, then it's going to be easy to work out things. And then healing is possible if you are willing to stop blaming anybody or blaming yourself. Um, and you just have to be willing to be very patient because things won't move uh, in the manner you want them to move, at the pace you want it to go. So you just have to be patient. And you have to check your motive as to why you want to reconcile, why you want uh, the family to, to heal. Because if your motive is to uh, let me... Um, uh, fix the the name of the family that has been tarnished then you will, you will fall into disappointments because maybe your goal is to I want to fix her or I want to fix him so people can see that oh she's now doing well she's doing this then it's just going to be all in vain but if you just go in god's timing god's way and just be patient and wait then whatever is going to come out of that relationship is going to be even more fulfilling and more positive and it's going to go in the right direction but you have to be willing to let go of any wrong motive, any control, and just let it be. Just remind yourself that whatever is happening, it's never about you. God has uh, more than you in mind. Uh, he has bigger plans for your family. So it's just a matter of reminding yourself of the promises that God has said. So if you are just stuck on thinking about how do how would people see us or how would people perceive us then you will never be able to reconcile with your family or you always be embarrassed about the whole situation or be embarrassed to be seen with your with whoever have brought this shame on you but once you let it go you just don't you won't worry or try to think about what will people think or oh i'm gonna be embarrassed you're just gonna be like you know what it is what it is if you wanna judge if you wanna talk about it hey go ahead but i don't care because i don't care you just keep on moving and god will keep on doing his thing but just keep in mind that while you are searching for this healing for your family your mind is just going to fight you trying to tell you that this darkness that has entered into your family will not cease it's just going to consume you alive all of you but i just want you to remember something that i saw in the bible uh it talked about that god is so amazing that even in the darkness he darkness to him is still a day night to him is light so there's nothing that goes on in the darkness that happens without god's knowledge he sees it all and so as you are going through that darkness that just remember that he is holding your hand even though you can't see where you're going he's just holding you guys leading you until you see that light just lean on him uh, rely on him and confidently look to him without fear and doubt knowing that only him 
will see you through that darkness and you will come out. The only thing you need to remember while you are going through this darkness is you mustn't make any decision because any decision that you are going to make while you are trying to come out of this shame as a family is going to be bad. But if you just trust God and just wait, don't make any decisions. Don't um, uh, disown anybody because they have brought this shame on you. Don't make any plan or decide on anything. Just surrender and wait on God and just see what he's going to do. And he will never fail you because he is able so that's so, all i have for today guys i hope you learned something from it uh, you have a blessed wonderful week and i will see you in my next video thank you bye